And welcome back. So we are going to take on the boss of the Deku Tree. I'm fairly certain it's not going to be changed from the original Ocarina of Time, so I shouldn't have any trouble with it at all. You don't have you don't necessarily have to take out your slingshot. But uh you might see like an eye of some sort moving around up there. Gotta make eye contact with it, and the battle will begin. Parasitic Armored Arachnid, Goma. Okay, if you've played Ocarina of Time before, then this is the pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the exact same fight. Once I turns red, Monster Deku Nut at its or hit it with your slingshot. One or the other. And when it goes up there, kind of follow it a little bit so you can stay locked on to it. And then uh, up on the ceiling side, it's going to turn red. Shoot it with a slingshot. And attack away. And it is dead. There we go. One of the easiest Zelda fights you will ever fight. I can guarantee you that. Well, alrighty then. When it dies, it will leave us a heart container. And then that heart container will fill our health meter and give us another heart. This blue light will take us back to in front of the Deku Tree and trigger a cutscene. So I will have to uh, be quiet. Well done, DYO5. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell you. Wouldst thou listen? Yes. Can't say no, so. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Cracking my knuckles if you can hear that, sorry. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Faro, the goddess of courage. She cultivated the land and created the red earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Faror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who were holding the law. great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens, and the golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's prophets, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm.
Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred trifles. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Dear I-05, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse upon me. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. I'll get into more of what that does later. The future depends upon thee, Dua05. Thou art courageous. Navi the Ferdi, help Dua05 to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Good bye. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, dear I-05. Goodbye, great Deku Tree. Alright, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, I now should have about four episodes worth of uploading to do so over the next uh, several days. So. Next time, we are going to see what we have to do next. Comment, favorite, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. As soon as I save. Yeah, I'm going to teach you how to save. Now you go to the pause menu, press B, and it's saved. Alright, well that's it now. I will see you next time. Stay tuned.